Hi, it's Karen Brammer here from Karen Brammer Photography. Um, I'm here today to chat to you about uh, the Polaroid Snap camera. It's a little camera that I've picked up recently. It retails about £80. Um, it's an instant digital camera. It's really compact. I mean, when I say compact, it's this size. It's actually smaller than your smartphone give you a bit of a comparison so it's really handy you can just pop it in your pocket um, stick it in your bag whatever um, so Polaroid snap well we've all heard of Polaroid and we're all familiar with the branding etc etc um, <clears throat> this isn't just an instant digital camera the really cool thing about this is it's got a printer built inside how cool so by having a printer inside is really quite novel. Um, Polaroid back in the day, 60s, 70s, 80s, that's what the cameras did. I mean, they were amazing. You know, it was like magic growing up with Polaroid cameras. I grew up in the 70s and 80s. And um, in fact, I even got one of, their, one of their old Polaroid instant cameras. So you'd take a picture and automatically you'd get a print come out of here. Um, you'd give it a couple of minutes sometimes a bit longer you'd stick it under your coat or wherever um, and you get a photograph there and then um, didn't have to wait for your film to be developed it was all done in in house and this is what the digital uh, this is what the polaroid snap does but what the polaroid snap also does because it's um, a digital camera as well is it saves it onto a micro sd card which is located here you charge this by um, using a USB cable, so that pops into that bit there. Now you've got, um, I mean it's just a lovely little design, very very easy to hang on to, hold on to I should say. Uh, you've got a little inbuilt flash there. Now for me, this line here has to match up. Nothing to do with function, OCD. I just like that. It, for me, I, I, I couldn't cope if it was the upside down or skew if it has to line up. It doesn't interfere with the function, as I said, it's just me and a weird thing that I do. What a nice little touch is with this is as soon as you get it anywhere near the camera body itself, that lens cap wants to stick onto it because there's a magnet inside. So that actually makes sure that your lens is always covered appropriately. Um, it's got a fixed lens with an aperture of um, f2.8. Um, it's easy to operate. You've got some little buttons on the top here. Uh, you, you've got, that's your shutter button. So you press it once and that takes your shot. There's a slight delay. You'll notice that when you have the camera turned on that you'll have three white lights. So you can see those three white lights come on. Now your first light is for your battery life. Ooh, it really scares me when, when lights do this. Oh no, is that being taken, taken a picture? Time will tell, won't it? Um, anyway, you get um, you press that and you get a slight delay. Um, and then if it is going to print, you can hear a little motor going in here because this is where the, the printer is built into the camera here. This is where the paper is loaded into that bit. Now when you load the paper into it, it takes... That's the paper that it uses, which is the Polaroid zinc paper. You get images which are two inches by three inches in, in size. Now there will be this little bit of blue card, which is in every single pack of 10 of those little photo um, packs of photo paper. What's really important is you see the, uh, the barcode. It's really imperative that when you put it into the camera back, that that's facing downwards so that the barcode itself is right next to, is facing down into the camera not that way up so it's really important that that goes in that way the reason being for that i guess it's a smart sheet and it's all to do with the digital side of it and it allows it to process it so yeah you load your paper into there um, when you've taken a picture what will happen is you'll hear this little motor whirring and there'll be a lot this light here that flashes on and off which will indicate that the printer's working um, if your battery life starts to run down, which is this one, it will go to red. If you're out of paper, the middle one will go to red also. Um, and if you've not got a micro SD card in, that will be red and flashing as well. You have got a viewfinder, as you can see here, which you can hold up and look through. Um, you've got a self timer here, which 
gives you 10 seconds. You've got a choice of colours, it's like a little colour wheel. That gives you black and white choices, colour or vintage sepia tones. Um, now this bit here is that will give you a borderless print or it, press it again and it gives you a whiteboard around it. So I can give you an example of that actually. Let me just close that for a second. Leave that there. So yeah, if you want without a border, you'll get an image like that. With a border, you get one like that. So that's more like the traditional old um, Polaroid sort of print that you would see from back in the day. Or if you go on Instagram, you'll see in other social media platforms, you can put these on um, as part of software now. You can just add those on. Um, you don't have to have Jack Russell to take pictures using this camera, but it does help. We have got a few Jack Russells here. Um, problems that I've found with the camera. You can see what I'm doing here. Yeah. Almost getting there. What was happening was every time I tried to use it in that orientation, it just kept cutting the heads off. Um, so, so far I found it easier to use it portrait orientation to get a good picture. Um, so just to give you an example of some of the images, that's Lily, that's Lily again, black and white, that's Dolly and that's outside in colour. I find that um, it works better outside than it does inside this camera, Dolly again. Uh, but they're quite sharp, they're quite sharp the images, it's quite impressive really considering how small it all is. Um, Dolly on again, that should be in colour but that's come out more black and white. Um, yeah, Dolly again. The only criticism I've got with black and white on this little camera is you sometimes get like a pinky purpley hue. Um, so it's almost like a little, having like a little colour cast over it. Um, if you hold, if you want like a photo booth style picture, you press that and you hold that down for more than three seconds and then your old photo booth would give you, so you get multiple images. That was just a one off shot, wasn't my best shot ever, I didn't really um, give it enough time. But yeah, so it just gives you a rundown of, of diff the different possibilities that you can do. It's not going to be mind blowing, um, it's just a bit of fun, you know, they're, they're just, it's just a bit of fun. You can take out, you can use it in, in all sorts of situations, but it's quite nice having, I quite like having the little prints. Um, and the prints have all got like um, an adhesive backing, um, so you just peel this layer off and you can stick that on your wall, fridge, wherever, um, or in an album, you know, and it's just good fun, it's just something different to use and I hope that's been useful. Um, I don't know if I told you about the cost, it retails about £80, um, so it's not a bad price. Um, I think the zinc paper can be quite expensive. Um, I bought this in a bundle with the camera, so I um, haven't got an exact price on it, but you'll be able to get it from you know, Argos, Amazon, places like that, um, replacement paper. But of course you've also got the micro SD card, so not every single time you use the camera do you need to put paper in either. So you have got options with it. So I hope that's been useful. Um, please ask any questions or comment below and just let me know what you think of the video. Oh, and subscribe! Thank you.